Hi, good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Lionel James. I'm the chair of the Chartered Institute of Building Services Engineers for the West Midlands region. It's good to see you all here, and thank you very much for taking the time out of your busy days to uh, actually attend this event. I have to add, this is the first opportunity that SIBSI have um, taken to actually step out of the Birmingham area as such to actually engage with the Coventry University. We have to thank Abdullah for organising this um, opportunity for us because we, we see that there's a desire and a need for the West Midlands region as a whole to really be engaged with what SIBSI are doing. And I'm quite fascinated by the way Coventry University have decided to step out and start looking at their existing building stock and where they can improve the performance and the efficiency of the existing buildings that they have. Rather than looking at trying to build and construct new buildings, they want to try and extend the life cycle of their buildings and actually try and improve the performance to enhance what we do in our industry. I know most of you uh, are based on Coventry, you know, in Coventry and work, actually work in the university or teach and study in the university, which is good. Um, I'm part of the um, teaching staff within the university on a part-time basis. I also work for Solihull College um, on the building services, the built environment, uh, engineering sectors. So I have a keen interest in seeing how each of the academic institutions are trying to change the way that we, we do, that we teach, and we actually engage with our students and the next generation of engineers. So it's impressive what Coventry are doing, and I really do applaud, applaud you for what to, to stepping out and trying to use new technology and innovation to try and improve what we do in building services. One of the things that is important in our industry and in the built environment is that we look to move forward and do things differently. Technology is changing consistently and regularly and time is becoming something that we don't seem to have much of nowadays. We're always rushing around trying to do things very quickly and I think as we see what's going on in society we need to t take a step back and really think about how we approach what we do for the, the next generation. Um, we're going through a, a time of change within the UK with Brexit and all the other issues that surround that. And I think as an engineer who's been in the industry for over 35 years now, I can see that a lot of the younger engineers are coming through with learning new technology and how to Im implement them very quickly, but losing the understanding of the principles that underpin what we do as engineers. So I feel Coventry University do something um, quite different here and uh, I think we need to share that within the wider community. Um, it's a shame I can't see some of the faces I expected to be here who were members of the committee but um, I'm hoping in the next month or so Abdullah and I can sit down again and talk about doing a next um, seminar where we can look at some of the results of what's taken place over the period of time that they've been doing this experiment and potentially look at how we can try and widen the approach within other buildings with on, on the campus as well. So thank you very much once again for your time. It's a pleasure to see you all here and hopefully they'll share a bit more of the technology with you and some of the information that they've gone through over the period of time. Thank you very much. Cheers.